Welcome to Brothers of the Word, because, brother, you need the Word. And today, for this message, I always try to go to God and ask God, Lord, what shall I speak unto the people on this day? And God simply told me to tell you this, that if you will watch this one thing, I will change your life. If you will just watch this one thing, I will change your life. And the one thing God spoke to me for you to watch, simply doors. Watch those doors. And in Genesis 4, 6, the word reads, And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Let me read that passage in the New Living Translation. You will be accepted if you respond in the right way. But if you refuse to respond correctly, then watch out. If you respond correctly, if you refuse to, then watch out. Sin is waiting to attack and destroy you, and you must subdue it. Sin lieth at the door. Watch those doors. And this is the first mention of door, but it's also the first mention of sin. Watch those doors. There is a, there's an oriental art called fin shui, and it's, the, it's an ancient Chinese discipline that fundamentally deals with the placement of stuff in homes and in offices. And the first foundational principle of feng shui is it says, if all possible, place your desk in a position that allows you to sit with your back to a wall or corner. And it says this will create a sense of security if you must sit with your back to a door, hang a mirror in front of you so you can see anyone coming into the room. It basically says even when you set up an office or a room, Never sit with your back to the door. The fundamental principle of this old Chinese art says, watch those doors. So if you watch doors in your life, God says, I, I'll, I'll make a great change. I'll change your life if you just do this one thing. If you watch those doors. First door you need to watch, you need to watch the door of your house. I mean, you need to be careful about who comes into your house. Just, just watch the door. This is not deep and spiritual and all that. Just the regular front door or whether they come in through the garage door. And sometimes we have people sneaking in through the back door. But just watch those doors. If you watch who comes into your door, if you get this into your mind just to watch those doors, if, if they can't see people these days, they don't, they don't come in through the window. Now, sometimes if something happens, they may sneak out through the window, but they don't come in through the window. If you just watch the doors to your house, and if you are careful about what you let come through your doors, watch those doors. If you even just watch your car doors, about who you let into your car or whose car you get into. I, I, I want you, God just wants you people to just physically visualize. He doesn't want all this, this not spirit. Just visualize just the door, just the handle on the door. You got to open that door or pull that handle. See, all, my, all of the doors you have to push or pull. None of the stuff is open sesame. All of the doors you have to put some physical effort to push or pull. And God just wants you to just watch those doors, even the cars. Some of you wouldn't have gotten in some shape you're in there if you hadn't gotten in that car. Just watch 
those doors. There, there are gateways and portals, and there's all kind of spiritual stuff, but just the practical, everyday thing of just watching the doors. You need to watch the doors that you go into on Saturday night. Saturday night is perhaps one of the biggest trouble nights with people, but if you just watch the doors where you go on Saturday night, see, there are some doors, people, we know when we walk through the doors, trouble is on the other side. There are some places you go on Saturday night and you know without question that beyond these doors is a very high potential for trouble. Without question. There are just some, there, there are some people's houses that you go over and you know when you knock on the door. There's trouble behind that door. If, if you just watch the doors where you go on Saturday night, you know when you go into a club. You know what's behind those doors. You, you, and... and and you're talking about, you know, I can't find a good... You're looking at them behind the wrong doors. So if you're behind the wrong doors, just watch your doors. There, there are some things that are just... You know it before you enter. You need to watch the doors where you go on Saturday night. And then God spoke something to me that was kind of unusual. He said, you need to watch the doors where you go on Tuesday night. I said, Tuesday what does Tuesday have to do with anything? And then I began to see, see, a lot of us get in trouble not on Saturday. We get in trouble on Tuesday. It's right in the middle of the week. There's nothing particular special about it. We just get in trouble on Tuesday. You know, it's a regular ordinary, nothing special going on. But on Tuesday, we're going somewhere, and we know we have no business going. And God just wants you to do the simple thing of watching the door. And every door that you go into... If we just had the mentality to stop before this door and ask ourselves, do I really need to be going through this door? Do I really need to be going through this door? Do I really need to be going through this door? Or, or do I really need to open this door? Some of this trouble would never come our way if we just don't open the door. Do you know we even need to watch the doors that we go through when we have money in our pocket? One of the top resolutions is to be, get in better financial shape. And, and, and one of the biggest reasons that we're in bad financial shape, it's most of the time it's not that we don't earn enough money, is that we spend too much. You know when you're standing on the door looking through the window, with stuff that you do not need, that you cannot afford. You know, and see, if we don't walk through the door, oftentimes what messes us up is we say, I'm just going to look. I'm just going window shopping. I'm not going to buy anything. And you walk through those doors, and before you know it, you have pulled out your visa, and you have pulled out your MasterCard, and you are then no longer the master, but you become the slave, just even with your money. And it makes a huge difference when you've got some money. As soon as you get money on Friday, it makes a huge difference which door you stand in front of. There is a group who will stand in front of the spending door to go buy clothes and shoes and hats and cars and all this stuff. And there is another group that will stand in front of the bank door. And they go to make a deposit. And which door you enter will make a difference in which way even your financial direction in life goes. Watch those doors. When you put your hand on the handle, ask yourself over and over, every time you get ready to go through a door, do I really need to go through this door? 